So we're finally out of the last section for the chapter on plane curves, and we're going to look at calculus um, in polar coordinates. So the, the key for doing calculus in polar coordinates, right, is, is you're going to typically be given r as a function of theta, right? And what we want to do is we want to fall back on what we already know about doing calculus for parametric curves. So we know that when we're converting between polar and rectangular, we have that x is equal to r times cosine theta, y is equal to r sine theta. And so if we use theta as our parameter, right, then what we get is that x is equal to f of theta cos theta, y is equal to f of theta sine theta, right? And from there you can you can use all the all the techniques that we did in the section on calculus for parametric curves for finding tangent lines and normal lines and arc length and all of that. Um, we'll see that certain things kind of simplify and look a little bit different in polar coordinates. Um, but essentially, we're just going to fall back on what we already know from doing things in, uh, for parametric curves, but we're going to use the polar angle as our parameter.